Hey guys, welcome to our video again. In this video, we want to show you some of the improvements we have made since the first prototype. And our technician, Steve, is going to join us today. So first thing first, obviously we have made some improvements on the display screen. You can see the clearness and the brightness also went up. And uh, you can see it very clear now from all, like, any angle. Uh, I'm sitting here and I can see it. Uh, obviously we have made improvements on the DC outputs as well. We have added the overload protection, and we have also made improvements on USB-A and USB-C ports as well. And I know we have increased the outputs on all four AC ports as well to 20 amps. Okay, so today we're gonna use a, a load tester to show, uh, to show you guys the AC output and run test on this. So let's turn it, the unit on. And we're gonna plug into the DC5521 port and it has the rated of 10 amps output and without any load, let's turn the AC up. Without any load, it should be 13.3 uh, volts. So now let's increase some load. Okay, now you can see the fan is running and it's increasing. And then you can see on the display screen, it's about, the output is about uh, 130 watts increasing okay now you can see that the the output is 10 amps right now and it's still running normal stable and let's increasing some more and it's got it got to 11 amps and you see the little warning screen warning sign coming on and then the unit now went into overload protection and shut off so let's uh, get everything back to normal and turn the unit back on Okay, now everything went back to zero. And then you can see that it's, without any load, it's 13.3 volts again. So when we went to 11 amps, the unit went into overload protection. Okay, next let's plug the plug into the uh, cigarette lighter port and I just want to point out the dust cover we have improved that as well it's not coming off but I think the final product will be more detailed and with better materials as well okay let's plug it in and then plug into the load tester okay, turn the DC port on and uh, you can see this one is, uh, without any load, is at 13.1 volts right now. And I think this one has the output of 15 amps, right? Okay, yeah. 15 amps. Okay. So let's increase some load. Okay, it's increasing. And you can see the output is going up and it's at uh, 120 watts right now, about 120 watts. And it's going up. It's at, the output is at uh, around 10 amps now and the output is uh, 140 watts. Okay, we're still increasing and the unit is still running normal. The output is at uh, 160 now. Okay, now you have seen uh, it's over uh, 15 amps now and then you see the little warning screen sign come out on the screen and the unit went into overload protection and shut off. So let's get everything back to normal and see if it would run again. Turn the DC put on. Okay, it's back to regulated at 13.1 volts. Let's increase again. Okay, so as you can see, after we went into overload protection, and when we restart it and turn it back on, it's running normal and no problem, very stable. Okay, next we're gonna show you the USB-8 uh, ports. So you're going to use the load tester. And I believe uh, these two USB-A ports are QC 3.0. And then you can see the voltage. And I think it goes from 3.32 all the way to 12 volts. Okay, it's at 12 volts now. Okay, let's uh, do some testing on the USB-C ports. Okay, so now we have uh, one plug into the Type-C port, and I believe these two USB Type-C ports, one is 18 watts, and this one is the PD 60 watts. And 
let's see. Uh, not, can you see? Okay. It is. It has the output of uh, 60 watts right now. And it's at 12V. 15. 20. It's near the 60 watts. Yeah, it's near 60 watts. I'm not sure if you can see on the screen right here. Okay, we're also going to show you the input on the uh, Type-C port right here. Let's plug it in. And uh, you can see on the display screen, the input is increasing. Um, hours to full says uh, about 8 hours, 7.7 .7 hours with uh, 65 watts input right now. Okay, now we're gonna show you uh, improvements we have made on all four AC outputs. Uh, I believe the AC output uh, socket now supports up to 20 amps. I believe it was 10 amps before. We have also increased the output to 120 volts instead of 110. Uh, we plugged into this hair dryer in the one of AC uh, socket right now and turn on the AC switch. And then we're gonna turn the hair dryer on. And you can see on the display screen on this right here, it's showing uh, close to 120 volts, like 119.5, so like 120. Okay. Turn it off.